After a month of traveling in the southern parts of Norway, it was time to drive far north and explore a place that I had dreamed of seeing for such a long time. The Lofoten Islands are no hidden secret to anyone, but I was now on my way to find out for myself just why everyone is so crazy about this tiny region of the world. To make it there, we first had to drive for two days through Norway's small windy roads and catch a bunch of ferries before getting to the start of our adventure through the Lofoten Islands. So we've just passed into the Arctic Circle, which is pretty epic. Apparently, the guy just said, we're further north than Nuuk in Greenland, which is pretty north. Here we come, Bodo. Time for Tet Ferry number three. We currently getting the ferry from Bodo right to the tip of the Lofoten Islands, and uh, we're going to be starting to drive from the tip all the way through back up into the mainland. So very excited, but very tired. So. Let's go and get on the ferry, hey? We arrived in our first town where we camped last night, and it's a place called Oa. I just like the name of it, because it's just minimalist. It's as minimalist as you can almost get. Just an A with a little circle, and it's very Norwegian. Okay, do you see this restaurant here? So this is the only restaurant here in Oa. And they've got labels everywhere. Look, over there, they've got one here. And at the parking when you're coming through, and when you first enter the town, sure there's also. So for the one restaurant in this town, somehow the entire population of this town were okay with the one restaurant to put their like logos over everything. It's pretty funny. I mean, to be honest, you can't miss the restaurant because they put their signs over everything. <laughs> This town, I read, was a very famous little fishing place and they did a lot of fishing. I'm sure they still do to a degree, but now it's obviously very busy with tourism because Lofoten is quite a touristy place. It's pretty quiet today, which is pretty nice. The good thing about traveling a little bit out of season, there's a little bakery here in Oa that we're pretty pumped for. So we're gonna go and find that, get some cinnamon buns, cause that's what we do every day here in Norway. And a coffee, coffee's the most important part. Cinnamon bun day? Keeps so the Norwegian doctors away. <laughs> and we bought a baguette because it looks so good. But, or, it's a pretty nice little place. It's the very last town on the, let's say, the main road here in the Fulton before getting the ferry to the next island if you want to get even further. But, uh, it's nice, it's simple. They've got their restaurant, which they promote a lot. There's a couple of museums. We're not going to stop at them today because we've got a bunch of work to do, but, uh, yeah, really nice. So this is where we camped last night, just in the car park here. It's uh, apparently only meant to be six hours, but tons of people camped overnight. So to be honest, I just say do it, even though you're not supposed to. But great little place to go and explore the town in the morning, get your bakery goods, and then get on the road. Especially once you arrive into the ferry, because you might not want to go and find a place so late. So recommend it. So we just found a little place to fill up water. It seems to be free, which is even better in Reine, which is one of the most famous typical little places, a little red hut here, just out the back of the town. Smells good. <laughs> Doesn't smell like someone's put their shit on it. <laughs> so now we've just got to fill this 110 liters of this baby up. Are you watching Instagram while in the water? <laughs> working. Working hard. <laughs> My venture team, I'm working when I'm filling up the water. So I'm just here eating a cheeky cinnamon bun uh, and then just uh, emptying the toilet. Oh, it's definitely the worst job on these van trips. <laughs> Lads, I've won in life. Cinnamon buns, chilling in the front seat in the warmth. Don't eat them all. <laughs> I'll leave you one if you empty it well. Just don't spill anything Two. on. If you spill anything on yourself, you can't come back in the van, all right? So just while we were here doing all our 
water and toilet. I just realized that this mountain behind us up here is uh, where we're going to hike tomorrow. And it's kind of giving you a good old overview of this beautiful area. So it looks like a pretty incredible one. Uh, look at this view. So nice with the boat. Check this out. What a beautiful place. It's good to be here. I've been wanting to come to this place for so many years and I've just never made it. But. So anyway, let's uh, let's go find a place to camp, eh? Yeah. Let's go see if we can get a spot and uh, if there's anything available. Let's do it. Good morning. We've woken up on a pretty rainy morning here in Norway. Nina's made us an epic breakfast. What have we got here? Ah, uh, some porridge with coconut milk. Nice. And then some black tea. Very nice. So we're on our first hike. It's a pretty short one actually. It's only less than an hour up, I think, and 1.1 kilometers, but it's directly up staircases like this. So yeah, a little bit worn out if I'm honest, but so far, so good. Made it up, eh? So from where the staircase ends, way down over here, we've kind of continued up this ridge line all the way to kind of basically the end because just up here, I was walking along this pretty sketchy part of the trail and like half of it has all just fallen down and slid off the rocks. So that's my cue to go home. This, uh, it's kind of basically the end of the trail, I guess, and it's a bit dangerous, I think, to keep going, especially if the trail has half fallen away, so. Yeah, our Nina's already on the way down. Just beautiful up here. Just for a bit of info, by the way, while I'm up here, because you can see it all right, that's where we camped as well last night. So basically you walk across the bridge, right around here, up this trail, and it's, yeah, about 45 minutes up. Or maybe, yeah, it depends on your fitness level. You arrive here, it's beautiful, and then you can keep coming along here. So, there you go, there's a bit of information on how you get up here, but, yeah, time to head down. Get warm because I'm pretty cold. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't dress so good for uh, these cold winds, but look at this, it's just incredible. La Fulton, you're a bloody show off. Just here is the spot called, I think it's pronounced Hanmoy, and it's super famous, super typical Instagrammy, and it's kind of boring, everything is very flat today, just a bit cloudy, but uh, yeah. There you go guys, if you want to come and photograph this super famous place, you can park just past the bridge, it's a big bridge here, you have to wait. Park just down there, walk two meters, and the spot is there for your enjoyment. So yeah, enjoy, we're gonna hit the road, because I'm cold. <laughs> Where are we heading now? Uh, to a campsite because we uh, hate van life and we just want to shower. Demon <laughs> is pretty crampy today. <laughs> that makes it no, even no, more fun this, to capture him. <laughs> so we've just arrived at Lofoten Beach Camp. Looks like a nice little place. It's got this big uh a-frame thing which I think you can get food at and coffees and probably just like it's a little bit of a restaurant -y thing. You can also surf here of course and it's right on the beach so yeah we're gonna go and check in find out where we're gonna park and then uh, enjoy some campsite vibes because we haven't been to a campsite now for like five days six days so we were a bit gross we need a shower and to uh, just recharge everything and chill so let's go check in and uh, get our parking place
campsite and we're heading off to do a cheeky little sunrise, no not a sunrise, a sunset hike. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful day here. When you've got a good day, you've got to get out, move them lakes and explore this beautiful countryside. So that's what we're doing. We'll show you along when we get up the top of the mountain. It's meant to be one of the best here in the Fulton. Do you want to tell the people how you're feeling? I just saw a camper boys camper van, so now I feel awful. <laughs> So we've made it up to the top and check out this view behind me. Uh, do you want to go stand down on that rock? That's the good light over, so bloody beautiful place, I'm not gonna lie, but it's time to get a little coffee to warm up. Enjoy the view, and uh, yeah, then we'll head down to the van, get some sleep, make some food first, and then get some sleep, and then uh, yeah, get ready for a new day tomorrow. Your year trip so far? Uh, I was just around uh, Alberta and BC, yeah, nice. hiking, driving around. What, what ice are you on? 6400? Yeah? Uh, oh, that's the, the four, three. isn't it? That's the four. Yeah. We're eating some of your family nuts. <laughs> <laughs> fake, the, I, the, I the, fake, the fake shitty hiking version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the tuna diet now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on holiday, I don't eat salmon. Yeah. 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 Oh, is that a flint, is it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I like that idea. Yeah, it makes it a bit easier with these because sometimes if it gets a bit wet or something. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it like running out of gas on the mountain. Yeah. morning from the beautiful place we camped at last night <laughs> we're actually just on a private farm but this is the start of the trailhead and the guy who kind of manages the park here to be honest everyone wanted to kind of hike from here back in the day apparently so he just turned his farm into a parking place he obviously still farms but the trailhead is up here and you pay 100 crowns and you can stay here overnight as well so as you can see a lot of campers there's a few cars over here so uh yeah, it's a good little place to stay if you're doing the hike, especially how we did it where we came back so late. It was awesome just to be able to come back and we didn't have to like leave the, the place too much. So uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Good little deal, I reckon. Anyway, as you can see, it's a beautiful day again. So we're going to uh, head a little bit more up north. We're gonna pass the Fulton Beach Camp, which is where we camped the other night. We're going to do a hike that's about half an hour. Anyway, that's about it. We're gonna uh, just have a coffee, make some breakfast and then we're going to head up, get another hike in, because in the Fulton, when it's good weather, you gotta hike, don't you? See the beautiful place. Use the good weather, because if you don't plan to use the good weather, you'll be planning your hikes in the rain, which is not fun. So yeah, let's uh, do some brekkie quickly, and then we'll hit the road. drink coffee out of a my van van cup it tastes like way better so you should probably all get a my van van cup and drink coffee out of it hashtag sponsored <laughs> So it's a new day, we're heading up the trail here to a new hike, we're going up a mountain. If you're an English person pronouncing it, it's like Offa Soy Kamen. We also just parked just down here. So uh, yeah, let's get up the trail, eh?
so we've made it up to the top and it is incredible 360 just check this place out it's incredible pretty nice hike to be honest if you're pretty fit you'll get up here like in definitely less than an hour but for sure and if you're not that fit i would say like an hour to an hour and a half is totally fine to get up it's 400 meters in elevation high and yeah it's not that far in kilometers i don't know how the kilometers are but highly recommended hike This apple tastes much better. Oh really? Mm. Which kind of I apple is it? So we just pulled over the side of the road up here because I want to quickly show you this. Check this out. All right, ready? Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful way. Ha. Oh. We just ended the little shoot with Nina up on these rocks. Got a few little photos there, which was nice. Definitely wasn't the sunrise I was hoping for, but that's all right. We'll uh, head back to the van now, quickly grab a coffee, warm up a bit, and uh, yeah, then get started with the day, hey? Check out this campsite though. It's pretty nice. It's a little spot here. We've stayed here now the other night we stayed, and we really enjoyed it. So that's why we decided last night we'll come back here and sort of just relax. And that's why we're thinking maybe it wouldn't work because it's a nice place to inside this uh, A-frame. They've got a big old space with plenty of tables and everything. So it's a pretty nice place if you're a you know, freelancer or you're sometimes working on the road. It's a good little place to stop. It's a little bit pricey, this one. But, uh, you know, when you got a beach camp right on the beach, of course, then uh, maybe it's worth a little bit extra. So, yeah, anyway, let's go get a coffee, eh? Coffee, Nina. So good. Really good. Very good. Mm. That is what we like to hear. Good Cheers. Cheers. Arctic surf it's called. And they've even got a sign out the front that said the world's best cinnamon buns. That's a big claim, so let's go and find out if it's really so far the truth. Mm. Alright Nina. Let's try this. Honey. Try it. This is Victoria. Hey. And she recommended this to us. And she said it's the best one you've had. It's right? the best one. Yeah. Nina, what's your verdict? Is it also the best one? Are you lying, Nina? 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Victoria, I think you've done well. Let's 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 try this. Made it. Made it to the top. Yes, yes. The first hike of today. That's where we camped down there the last couple of days. Yeah. So yeah, first hike of the day. Yes. Sorted. Now we've got to head right up there. We've come over and we have made it up to the top of Himmel Tindal. This is apparently the highest peak in the whole of Lofoten. This is absolutely incredible up here. It's very cold, so we're not going to stay for food. We were going to camp up here and enjoy some food, but uh, we're going to head down a little bit more, stop somewhere a little bit less windy, a little bit less cold. Hope some maybe some northern lights. At the moment, it's totally cloudy, so not a chance. But yesterday, it was also pretty cloudy at this time, and then it's cleared up and became beautiful later, so let's see. But yeah, gonna head down. But yeah, beautiful to be up here. Nina, you did a good job. Yeah. Nina's a bit over it, to be honest. She's not feeling the best. She's heaps cold. But I you guess you can too. see that. I have literally everything on that I have that's warm. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna quickly enjoy this place really shortly, and then we're gonna run down so that Nina can warm up. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, highest point of Lofoten checked off the bucket list. Since arriving in Lofoten, we have been waiting for this evening for the entire time and finally we have Northern Lights dancing above our heads. This is like, it's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. The first time was just last year in Iceland and, uh, and now we got it again in Northern Norway which is pretty special. This is, yeah, one of the coolest things to experience for sure. Crank it along as bright as bright can be. So, very stoked. But anyway, I'm gonna keep photographing because who needs to be warm when you got these bad boys in the sky? So. After enjoying the northern lights late into the night, we woke up to a rainy morning. Unfortunately, the weather forecast predicted more gloomy weather ahead. However, we didn't let that dampen our spirits, and we decided to drive further on through the islands, 
to one of the most famous villages on Lofoten called Henningsvia. Oi, speed racers, no rush, buddy. No rush, speed racer. Run, Boris, run. Due to the weather conditions, we were determined to make the most out of our trip. Hence, we decided to indulge in a little bit of luxury and checked into a cozy hotel, bidding farewell to van life for a few days. Henning's Via welcomed us with its charming streets, cozy stores, and some good local cuisine. Our time in the little village proved to be a delightful little reset on our road trip, and we enjoyed our stay there a lot. So this is probably Norway's most famous football field. Something to do, something to see when here in Norway, hey? You like it? Oh yeah, I love it. So we're currently here in Henningsvia, which is probably arguably Lofoten's most busiest town. Check it out. Hectic. <laughs> Off-season life. Love it. Mm, my turn. Good morning. So we have woken up at a beautiful little spot here. So this is actually a campsite called Sandvika Camping. And I want to show you this incredible view. So look at that. Look at this little house. Imagine living there right with this view. Crazy, eh? You know, we're the only people at this campsite. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice. And look, they've even got these pretty awesome little lodges up there and they've got cabins all down this road. Anyway. Just wanted to share that little nice place with you. Sandvika Camping, it's called. Well, that wraps up our time on the Lofoten Islands. I'm not surprised this place became so famous, as it had some of the best hikes I've ever done, so many awesome places to park up the van, incredible coastlines with crystal blue waters, and of course, the best cinnamon bun I've ever had. We're now off on the next leg of our trip, where we'll be going to explore some more absolutely stunning places and also try to get to the most northern point of Europe. So if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, folks.